So here is a little stereo integrated amplifier, I believe, from the 70s. Quite an unusual thing. But, um, has quite a lot of appeal to it. Although, unfortunately, I think it's been got at. That's the problem. So, it's a bit of a shame. But we can see if I turn it round here. Quite an unusual mains transformer. And some quite large capacitors. I mean, they're 1500 microfarads at 100 volts. And I believe there's um, a 2055 down there. There's a regulator that um, seems to be kicking out about 65 volts. And this little power supply. PCB here, PWB. All the boards just unplug like this. So there's the power supply board. With the edge connector in there. So we can pop that back in. And likewise, the um, center two boards there are the pre amplifier boards. And the outer two boards are the power amplifier boards. And this board here at the back is um, an equalizer board. It's actually labelled, you can probably see there, maybe just about see, down the right hand side of the PCB there, it says something like um, EQ filter PWB, and it's got um, output transistors at the back which again are 2055s, and it's got output capacitors here, and obviously the smoothing caps over here. Um, and you can see the edge of these uh, edge connectors here, these loom, but there's a bit of a mess. So I think here somebody's got to it, unfortunately. Because um, what we have is even without the power end boards in, you get some drive to the headphones, but whichever board you have in, you always get both channels, so like a mono configuration, which obviously isn't right. Let's give that a bit more light. Underside of the chassis. The wiring loom looks really quite neat, I must say. Looks very good. In the back, I've got one of the German caps missing there. Just on those uh, transistors. DIN inputs for disc, tuner, aux and tape. Two pin DIN speaker outputs, output transistors. Fuse, left hand one is secondary, right hand one is primary. IEC mains input socket unusually. Judging by the um, type of components, it feels like 70s, but with these metal film resistors in here, it would kind of appear to be more like 80s. So here's one of the preamp boards. No. Preamp PCB. And uh, one power amp PCB. And notice that the preamp PCB is double sided, which is kind of interesting as well. So it's a very nice little thing. I do like it a lot. And it came from Jude. But I think I should give it back to him because he kind of treasures it. And the other thing is that there, if we look at the volume control, also it's been got at. So I don't know whether that would have had loudness taps on it because. If you look carefully at these red and pink wires in here, they've just been soldered randomly and the, the soldering in here is very poor. So I think it really has been got out. And these wires here go to over here to the loudness switch. And if you switch that, the whole thing just motorboats. Also, when you adjust the balance on the front down here, then depending on the volume of the balance, you get various degrees of motorboating and distortion and oscillation and the um, the power supply rail, even with no motorboating, mind you, um, varies between 65 volts and 30 volts. So there's something quite nasty going on. And you can vary the voltage between 30 and 60 volts just by adjusting the balance control between left and right hand position. So goodness knows what somebody's done. I really don't know. But I think it's... Um, not really worth spending too much time on. Anyway, thank you for looking.